All right, gang, Pettigran. Any of you know what this is? It's a great note in fragrances, and it adds this green, bitter, citrusy, woody touch to fragrances. It appears in a lot of citrus fragrances, and that's what we got today. I've got top 15 Pettigran fragrances for you. Find out about these fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian Yes, where today we're talking about Pettigran, a great smelling note in fragrances, typically found in citrus fragrances and usually found in fragrances featuring citruses with floral, citrus floral notes. It's a great addition to the, the fragrances. It intensifies the citrusy touch, I believe, at least that's what I experience. Adds a kind of a bitter citrusy woodiness and of course a greenness. I really, really love this. It's funny because as a kid, I used to love picking orange uh, trees orange leaves from the orange tree and breaking it in half and see that little oil squirt out of there and that had a lot of fragrance and I think that's why I like Pettigran and uh, fragrances as well because uh, it smells great and when you love the smell of citruses you're gonna love the fragrances I'm gonna talk to you about today so I'll let you know about the top 15 uh, Pettigran fragrances before I do if this is your first time tuning into this channel and you haven't subscribed please do subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos videos and giveaways. So if you already have a favorite Pettigram fragrance, why don't you put it down so I can find out. But let's get started with the first fragrance with the house of uh, Paris Monte Carlo. It's uh, Bergamotto di Calabria. So most of these are citrus fragrances and they have, or they're fragrances with a lot of citruses in them. And this is definitely focusing on Bergamot. And it's, it's a great note to add Pettigran to complement the, the Bergamot because Bergamot is usually a top note. And I think Pettigran typically is found in heart notes because it's a little sturdier than uh, the bergamot note itself. So it enhances the citrusy touches, which is what I, what's going on here because this is focusing on the bergamot note, but it features pettigran, neroli, vetiver, black pepper, iris, and sandalwood. So it does have a bit of a spicy, woody dry down, a little powdery, but definitely focusing on the bergamot here with the pettigran and the neroli. So Bergamotto di Calabria at number 15 is the first fragrance we're going to start off with. Second fragrance is Limon from the house of Laboratorio Olfativo. So this is a great smelling lemony fragrance experience with a little zing to it from ginger and also some, it says orange leaf, but this is definitely Pettigran because orange leaf is what um, Pettigran is, bitter orange leaf. So they have this note here and it really does enhance, uh, enhances the lemony touches with its kind of green bitterness that I like here. Along with those notes, you also have a little white musk. This is definitely a little simplistic wear. It's also a cologne or eau de cologne. So it's light, but it's perfect. In the heat in the summertime. So Laboratorio Olfativo Limon is a great, great smelling fragrance. Moving on to the house of Penhaligans. I've got two fragrances from Penhaligans today. This is Castille. Castille is a great, or Castile. Uh, Castile is a great um, fragrance uh, focusing on orange blossom and neroli as well. Although this is just specifically orange blossom, it's the same flower. This also has the addition of bergamot and pettigran. The pettigran adds this great, great green, bitter, woody earthiness to the fragrance that I can't get enough of. So it's lots of flowers and then the citrus juiciness of the bergamot plus the pettigran plus musk, woods, and rose. A great smelling fragrance. It smells soapy as well. Um, you gotta like uh, something like this. So it's Penhaligans. Castille, Castile at number 13. As I was saying, you're gonna find Pettigran in a lot of fragrances focusing on Neroli or Orange Blossom because they do complement really, really beautifully together. Here in this next fragrance from the House of Obvious Parfums, Un Fleur d'Oranger, a great smell, really, really great smelling Neroli in this particular fragrance, but lots of Pettigran as well. Now, in addition to the Pettigran here, they've also thrown in Lemon Leaf. There's a little bit of a different smell to it. The Pettigran is definitely a little sweeter. The lemon Lemon leaf is definitely a little tart or more sour, but in addition to those notes, there's mandora, there's orange, there's bergamot, there's orange flower and ginger. Orange flower, orange blossom, the same thing. And then the roly and orange blossom differences are the, just the extraction process, so they're called something different. But it's a great smell, it's a great citrusy fragrance, and a citrus floral fragrance from Obvious Parfums, Un Fleur d'Oranger. Love that smell, really, really do. But we got another one here from the House of Parfums and Nicolai, it's Cap Neroli. Cap Neroli is also a great fragrance 
does have a little bit of a classic touch and uh, obviously with this house they they make fragrances a little classic or classic leaning but this is lots of neroli with orange blossom pettigran there's rosemary there's oak moss there's mint there's orange uh, it's a great citrusy fragrance experience i have a friend that loves this stuff and wears so much of it like goes through a 30 ml per season kind of a thing i should just tell them to get a 100 ml which is what i did because uh, i wore through my 30 ml but it's a really really great fragrance i like that this is definitely like a neroli orange blossom pettigran focused fragrance but it does have those kind of classic touches as well cap neroli from the house of parfums and nicolai at number 11. moving on to the house of healy this is james healy it's oranges and lemons say the bells of saint clements uh great smell here i can when I put this to my nose, I'm smelling the pettigran, the orange leaf, or the bitter orange leaf in this case. It's just a very, very beautiful, like a God's gift to mankind kind of a smell, because this is a great, great smell. It's neroli, pettigran, lemons, bergamot, orange, tea, and mandarin. It's a citrusy fragrance. It's a little bitter. It's a little green. It's a little floral. It's definitely juicy, citrusy, and a little bit of that cozy tea in there. Healy's Oranges and Lemons, say the Bells of St. Clements, is number 10. This has been a staple for me. I'll Although not as of late, but when it was first launched back in 2001, I was all over this fragrance. This is from the house of Mugler. It's Mugler Cologne. This is it right here. And this is once again that orange blossom neroli pettigran combo. Smells like a clean soapy experience. A great smell. And again, it does feature the neroli, the bergamot, along with the pettigran. The pettigran has this kind of green bitterness, green color, as you can see. But there's definitely the musk here in the dry down. There's a little bit of a woodiness, and I think you get the woodiness from the pettigran note to be begin with, but I think there's definitely something a little woody here as well. Great smell, very fresh to wear, Mugler Cologne. If you don't know that one, uh, definitely check it out because um definitely it's a great one you can probably find some great deals on that one now this next fragrance it doesn't definitely go into the very fresh direction but it it's featuring loads of pettigran from the house of lalique it's white white does focus on pettigran along with black pepper bergamot and tamarind for a very unique uh, wearing experience it's a very spicy fragrance and we get a lot of spice from the black pepper in this particular fragrance and it's also spice the black pepper spice is a little bitter and then you've got that bitterness from the pettigran note in here but citrusy and green and woody and so you have this kind of a bitter experience throughout this particular fragrance along with the tamarind which has this tartness and then some cedar and nutmeg thrown in it's a great scent easy to wear clean and white of obviously lalique white at number eight the next fragrance going to the house of Penhaligans. it's the impudent cousin matthew once again very green fragrance experience with lots of pettigran in fact pettigran is king here and this is kind of what i did with the list started off with less pettigran and moving on to more pettigran this is a pettigran bomb it's a pettigran with mandarin orange and patchouli and those three notes work really really great together the mandarin orange has this sweetness sweet citrusy touch which i like here patchouli its earthy woodiness and the pettigran with its kind of green bitter earthiness woodiness great great fragrance from uh, the house of penhaligans created by alberto morias funny he created this one as well go figure so the impudent cousin matthew at number seven now this next fragrance doesn't necessarily mention there's pettigran but i feel like there is it's lots of it it's hermes Eau de Orange Vert in the Concentrate version. And it says Bitter Orange. And where do you get the pettigran note? From the Bitter Orange uh, tree. So there's lots of it. There's definitely that kind of bitterness here that is associated with the pettigran note. But it's Bitter Orange, some basil, cedar, patchouli, and amber. Great smell kind of classic and one that I haven't gotten tired of since I started wearing it in 2001. I actually bought my first bottle in uh, on a trip to New Orleans. I went to the Saks downtown there and bought a bottle in the original bottle and now I'm a fan of the Concentre version. So Hermes Auto Orange Verde Concentre at number six. Now this next fragrance is such a Pettigram Bomb. It smells really, really great and green. It's from the house of Berdu, Maison Berdu, Selva do Brazil. I'm on my second bottle of this one. This is also under $100. Did I say anything that was under $100 already? I'm thinking of something else. This is under $100 and it features loads of pettigran with tonka beans and guyac wood. If you like the idea of the green leaves from the orange tree or the bitter orange tree, you gotta get your nose on this one. It's a bit simplistic, but lightly complex. It's got woods, it's got that tonka bean and lots and lots of pettigran. This is Salvador Brazil from the house of Berdu. I kinda like the leafy, uh, you know, print work they have on the back of this bottle. 
Uh, great fragrance. Check it out if you don't know it. It's, uh, as I said, under $100 for 100 ml. It's easy to wear in the summertime. All right, I'm kind of pushing this particular fragrance as it seems. This is from the House of Commodity. It's moss in the plus version and the bold version. This is loads of Petagran. Loads and loads and loads of Petagran with loads and loads and loads of oak moss. The two work really, really beautifully here together. And as I was mentioning in the previous video or another video, this kind of reminds me of uh, Mousse Illuminae from the House of Rogue Perfumery. Uh, the, the mossiness from that fragrance with lots of Petagran. So imagine that fragrance with the, the addition of the Petagran note, uh, you know, the bitter green citrusy touches. That is here and it smells fantastic. I'm going with the plus because the plus is more dense. It's a lot more concentrated, heavier, and I like this concentration, but it's lots of bergamot with Petagran. There's the oak moss, patchouli. There's juniper berry, violet, elemi, and amber. This, this particular version definitely has an ambery experience. That's why you experience this kind of density here with this one in comparison to the original and the expressive uh, format and then the personal, uh, which is in the white bottle. So commodity moss plus, a great, great fragrance. Love that stuff. Moving on to the house of Cartier's Declaration Eau de Fraicheur. This one right here. I'm surprised how great this is. Uh, originally a men's fragrance launched in 1996 and they've had multiple flankers, but they've got a new one which is actually unisex targeted and it's all about pentagram with cardamom and cedar. So they've taken out the cumin note which was in the original fragrance and replaced it with lots of green pentagram notes. So you've got that citrusy touch here contrasted with that kind of aromatic, spicy, pungent cardamom note and there's the, the addition of the cedar as well. It's a great smell to wear in the summertime and the heat it smells great. Also, it's a little simplistic so it's not complex so it won't overwhelm when it's really, really hot outside. So Cartier's Declaration Eau de Fraicheur at number three. Moving on to the house of Mise en Cire at number two, it's a Vert Empire. All of a sudden there's a lot of new launches for, uh, you know, Petagran fragrances. And this, this one and the Cartier came out around the same time. And I think they're definitely great, great fragrances. The Mise en Cire on the other hand, in comparison to the Cartier, once again, another fragrance created by Alberto Moriaz. I guess he loves his uh, Petagran, I guess. So this, this one is a softer take on Petagran. I think they've stripped away all the bitterness that comes with the Petagran, so they've left it with a soft kind of lightly woody, lightly bitter earthiness of the Petagran uh, here. Citrus, of course, it's a citrus. But you also have Angelica, Mandarin Orange, Sage, Cardamom, Paradisone, and Ambroxan. So there's a little bit of a powdery vegetal touch in this particular fragrance, but it smells fantastic. So this is Mise en Cire Vert Empire at number two. And the number one uh, Petagran fragrance is Orangea from the house of uh, Profumum Roma. This stuff is fantastic. I bought this on a trip to Rome in 2018. I wore it throughout Rome on the trip. Uh, in fact, I have a few videos shot, one video shot uh, at the um, flagship uh, Profumum Roma store. If you care to watch it, go catch that video. Uh, this is to me orangey, very, very orangey, but that green bitterness from the Petagran note, the leaves. But along with it, you've got bergamot, cedar, and mint. It's a great combination. Wears linear, doesn't have a top heart and a base note. And again, this stuff smells amazing. It's a little oily, you can rub, and it has great longevity. So Profumum Roma Orangea at number one for a really, really fantastic green smelling Petagran fragrance. It deserves a number one spot. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Let me know if you're a fan of this uh, particular note and these fragrances, and if there's anything else out there that I missed, please do let me know because I don't know every single fragrance. At least I try, try to know everything, but I can't. But if there's anything missing here, please do let me know what it is so I can look into it. Either way, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. As always, there's a bonus fragrance here. This is from the house of Celine, and I kind of wanted to add it to the list, but I left it off because it's so different for a Petagram fragrance, because this one focuses on heliotrope. This is Saint Germain de Pre from the house of Celine. Lots of heliotrope and lots of uh, Petagram. Such an interesting combo. Hel heliotrope is this flowery, a purple flower that has a kind of almondy powderiness. So you contrast that with this kind of green, bitter, earthy, woody, citrusy note of the Petagram. It makes for a great combination. So heliotrope goes fresh with Petagram, neroli, there's orris root, and vanilla. So it goes fresh, but it also has this kind of powderiness and, of course, some sweet vanillic touches. It's a great smell. I think this is a really, really nice job they've done. It's unique 
unique. It's kind of a citrus, but then lightly gourmand kind of a thing, or lightly powder, not necessarily lightly powdery. This is a lot of powderiness here, but a great, great combination of notes. So definitely highlighting this one, Saint Germain de Pre from the House of Celine for a great smelling fragrance with loads and loads and loads of Petagran. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for another video soon. Have a good one. Bye.